Hi, welcome to Raven's Wing Tarot. My name is Amanda, and today we are exploring what is the full moon bringing to you. And I'm gonna go ahead and move piles two and three off to the side. And pile number one, there is your overall energy card, and you have chosen Hawk's Eye. Hawk's Eye, it looks kind of similar to the way Tiger's Eye will flash, but we have Hawk's Eye. And yes, guys, I'm wearing a wig. I'm into wigs now. My friend had a wig party the other day and it was so fun playing around with these wigs that I ordered some of my own. It, it's fun, seriously, it's fun. I've never really done the wig thing so you guys should totally try it. I got them on Sheen, they're like 10 and $13 and they're not bad quality, like honestly. It's kind of getting a little bit tight here though. Uh. <laughs> Guys, I'm not, I, I ain't trying to pass this off like, I got my hair done, guys. Uh, doesn't that look so good? <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm really into playful, being playful. Um, I went, I wore the, I have, a, my friend had a ginger wig, a really long ginger wig, and I wore it last Friday to the park and to run errands, and everybody loved it. Oh, man, what's in my eye? What is that? Something just got in my eye. I don't want to have to stop this video. Fix. Okay, good. I don't know what that was. A piece of dust or something? Ah! Okay, I'm not going to look at it. But something just popped out. Okay, here's this. But yeah, I had like, I don't know what it was. It's because I was embracing my inner child that um, others started embracing theirs. And they, I got so many compliments on it. Then I wore a different wig out. And somebody told me, you're high maintenance, aren't you? And I was like, bitch, you don't know me. It's like, I'm actually the complete opposite of high maintenance. I was like, uh, this is a wig, bro. And they were like, oh, oh. I'm like, why don't you leave me alone? Can you believe somebody had the nerve to just say that to a fucking stranger? Like, grow up, bro. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's see here. I hope you enjoyed my little chat with y'all. Okay. The Knight of Swords. Ooh, we, the Knight of Swords, usually, it, it, he creates movement. Knights typically make, uh, talk about creating movement. <coughs> and usually the Knight of Swords will depict, like, coming in with his sword to, like, clear shit out of the way. But this is a Pegasus, so it's, like, soaring over obstacles. Not actually having to battle them, because a lot of the times, um, the Knight of Swords will talk about, you know, get ready for a battle of, battle ahead. But this is like soaring over obstacles because it's it's flying up above here. And then look, there is a full moon with the sun behind it, but the moon has clouds in there. So what I get is like your dreams. Like this is your dreams coming into form or reality. It's a great time for your dreams are coming to you. The obstacles to obtaining your dreams, it looks like that's clearing out. Um, also, Hawk's Eye, it works with the third eye. My friend got this for me for my birthday last year. And so she gave it to me. I was like... Oh, I guess I needed to have this here. So, um, yeah, definitely realizing we will see beyond the veil and open that third eye. So you have the Queen of Swords. Oh, my gosh, I'm loving this so much. The Six of Pentacles. I'm going to stop there for now. Well, no, this one wants to need to turn it. Eight of Pentacles. That's the one that flipped out. Okay. So with the Queen of Swords, this is kind of reflective of um, the, the reading I did on my Instagram yesterday on the live because uh, the Queen of Swords came out and the Knight of Swords. But this is dark feminine energy. Your dark feminine energy and like calling it like it is. <clears throat> Again, she's carrying this sword. And she's got, it looks like a mink. I think it's a mink. It's a little mink right there with her. But anyway, the <clears throat> standing in your authority and your power. Sorry. Um, and your truth. She represents the truth and like setting boundaries and checking somebody if they need to be checked or just uh, calling things like they are. Um, yeah. So standing in your truth, standing in your power, not allowing the emotions to drive you, but more so like using your intellect to understand what's behind the emotion and with the Six of Pentacles, so six and eight right here. But with the Six of Pentacles, this little 
uh, fairy dude is sitting at the edge of the water with all these things are coming to him and there's a little fish right there. Fish represents abundance, right? And so it's like taking a break and you're he's just kind of like daydreaming, kind of like reflecting and these things are coming to him. So it's like Hmm. Okay. I get it. Okay. Sitting and reflecting and paying attention and not, not letting your emotions get the better of you and just kind of sitting and reflecting on your abundance and what you were grateful for and all that and mindful of your frequency because that's what you're calling in. Um, and not to let your emotions run the show. If you've had a lot of emotions because the eight of pentacles, she's got a harp here and there's all these pentacles around her. Um, and I, I always I see this as like it's your you dictate your frequency because she's got this harp right and what's it do create frequency vibration so your frequency and vibration is what's calling this in and you don't want your you don't want to be like I'm taking my ball and going home um, but you definitely want to or this could even represent somebody coming towards you and like maybe running their mouth because on the shadow aspect with the Queen of Swords. She can be, have no tact and be kind of ruthless. Um, so it's that balance of you standing your, your balanced queen of swords energy to establish boundaries with people um, who are in distorted um, feminine energy, right? And like maybe attacking you. So an example was yesterday when I was on my live, somebody got on there and said, I commented fake prediction. And I was like, um, how about you go fuck yourself and get off my shit? And then I said, I'm going to block you. And I just hopped up and blocked him. I gave him all of like 30 seconds of my attention and then just went on. And that's like, that's a boundary right there. Um, you're not going to come onto my page and start talking shit to make yourself feel important. And that's not how a tarot works. We all understand that it's energy that you can either align to or not through your own choice. But that's that's what I did. It's like I didn't come from a place of anger. It was more like, the, how dare you, like, come up into my house and talk shit. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, that was a distorted person, and then I stood in my power. Okay, so the five of wands and the high priestess. Ooh, okay. The five of wands is clearing, clearing clutter, clearing things about, maybe you even want to do a, like purging your space or <clears throat> some people have been purging physical body with poos and pukes this week leading up to it. Or if you want to do a parasite cleanse, um, a lot of people I'm feeling called to kind of do a little bit of a cleanse myself here um, because parasites amp up during full moons. And so it's a really good time to start to clear this out. Either way, it's like this transmutation, clearing of energies. Hey, Bubba, where'd you go? Oh, I just heard him click, click, click. And he uh, always gets under the table right here when I do readings. And anytime I do any energy work, he's with me. He's like, let's go to work, Mom. <laughs> but I guess he decided you guys have gotten it, been graced with enough of my, my energy. I'm going to go to my bed. <laughs> Um, then you have the high priestess, the high priestess, she's holding a scroll and what keeps coming up, I keep seeing these scrolls and it, rem it reminds me of new soul contracts coming on and it could even be a contract for yourself, but the high priestess, she, <laughs> she's like the creator. Um, and hold on, let's see what the keywords here for her. Uh, also heart chakra. I, I need to work on my heart chakra. I can feel it the energy jamming up behind it okay it's card number two it goes the fool magician high priestess wisdom maturity concentration reflection perseverance patience studies knowledge objectivity divination wise counsel maternal love so yeah i feel like this is like the counterpart to the queen of swords energy but it's still these contracts are coming online and you may even like see things from a different perspective um with the with some um clarity coming through with you knight of wands four pinnacles and the eight of pinnacles wow lots of pentacles lots of we got two knights let's see here it he has 
a symbol, uh, like a power symbol. It's like that little swirly thingy um, on his chest. And he's riding his horse again. It's like clearing the way out. Air of air. No, 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 no. Fire of fire. Why did I say that? It's fire of fire. This is the uh, Zodiac Tarot. I want to see what this says. Dang it. Cups, get out of my way. Yeah, stay there. I'm going to look at it here. But still, it's like, uh, it, again, it's movement and it's galloping. It looks like it's fast movement. Fast transmutation. Ooh, actually, I just realized Jupiter, I think Jupiter moved into the North Node today, which creates lots of movement. Fast, fast, fast. Apparently, that only happens every seven years. This is in uh, true sidereal and Vedic astrology. Um, this only happens every seven years and it it's like a lot of movement and that's actually what my reading yesterday for the collective was saying on instagram was there's going to be a lot of movement where there hasn't been movement there's going to be movement but okay and the four of pinnacles is abundance prosperity stability and even with the sixes uh the six of pinnacles talks about cycles right and then with the eight of pinnacles here it had like that circle of pinnacles around her the fairy with the harp and she's standing on this sun so there's even though this is a pinnacle, there you have the sun down here with the fire energy. Wow, this is so fun. And again, with the eight of pinnacles, and it's almost depicted the same, except for she's um, got a little hammer and she's creating these, um, the pinnacle coins. And what? Does she have fire coming out of her crown? That is so, so cool. Okay, so what I see here is... There's a lot of fire and air and pinnacles. Lots of fire, air, and pinnacles. I don't see any water. The only thing that has the water is this fairy sitting here at the pond. But the eight of pinnacles here is like talking about the hard work and creating because she's hammering away. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Let's see what these say. Mm. The Knight of Wands, or it's the Queen. The Knight, fire of fire. Speed of action, responsiveness, impulsiveness. Now remember, impulsivity versus spontaneity are two different things. Impulsivity is more of like a reactive, distorted version that typically doesn't work out in your best interest. Um, and spontaneity is a more balanced um, and beneficial type of energy. And the difference that I always, the difference between two and what I always like to give is impulsivity. Okay, spontaneity is, hey, let's go get a pizza. Impulsivity is, I'm gonna eat this whole fucking pizza. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, the, one is more of like a fun, lighthearted um, energy while the other is destructive. So I would say keep that in check. Um, he doesn't have the awareness of the king of wands, but possesses courage and initiative. Often he does not know how to save energy, but it's possible that after an enthusiastic start, his energy quickly dims. He can represent unexpected change or the need to act quickly without thinking too much. The consequences of our actions can be assessed later in time. One thing is certain, the Knight of Wands, nothing is ever boring. So, yeah, I didn't read the whole thing. That was the only part I was guided to read. So, yeah, it's a lot of quick movement. Again, like quick movement, transmutation. You may have like to think quick or I mean, I just feel like it's just really quick movement towards this abundance here. So let's go to the pentacles. There's the four pentacles. I went straight to it. Cool. Sun and Capricorn. Um, let's see here. Personal structure protection, possible rigidity. Yeah, that is the shadow aspect of uh, the four pentacles. Like it is like stability of gathering your finances but it could be an exaggerated interest in your finances so i don't feel like that i feel like this is a very positive reading that might be for a few people um but yeah this is more so um about the the light aspects how we find the ability to take care of ourselves our personal boundaries and what we have okay again that's that boundaries coming back up so maybe are you an over giver do you give to people who don't deserve it or do you need to open up and share more and be more generous with others but either way it's like all this fire energy passion creativity transmutation even sensual and sexual energy now the eight of pentacles 
so this is a newer card for me and I like a uh, card a newer deck for me and I like to try to learn the, the zodiac associated with these cards okay study attention to detail ability ability to concentrate apprentice um, let's see here Sun in Virgo first deacon if you're into astrology let's see here importance of daily work attention to detail and mutual skills and the ability to observe and repeat um this card suggests the healthy disposition of getting to work taking care of material action and craft it is the card of apprentice who with study application and the ability to focus on detail without losing the big picture becomes the master of the art day to day this is the time to devote ourselves to our skills and maintain focus so i feel like it's what spirit is telling us about this is there's going to be this transformation of you standing up in your boundaries and um because you're doing that and clearing the space you're going to be more empowered and feel like you're energized to move towards your goals and put in the work to seeing these things realized i would like an oracle folks the turkey yes honor your own time of harvest offer your gifts and blessings as blessings as service to the greater good i love it you know what and it, this is something and it doesn't have to be finances or anything um somebody that uh that I, we follow each other on my instagram and i don't like to say one of my followers that sounds so fucking egotistical but we follow each other on instagram and um she's such a sweet sweet soul and she thought that it would be you know she it dawned on her how much you know i give um as far as relaying these messages from the divine to everybody and she thought wow maybe i i never dawned on me maybe you sh you could benefit from something you know from a reading yourself and so she was so kind to take the time out of her day to do to pull cards for me and to send me all of the stuff and explain even complete with my natal chart and gene keys and the I Ching and she went all in on it and um I was just like it brought a tear to my eye because like oh you were thinking of me like I didn't even like you know how much that means to somebody like I do this because this is my passion and what I love but it was really so touching to have her think of me and want to reciprocate what I do for others and that was such a blessing and so it doesn't always have to be money but it could be your 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 energy but still this is talking about abundance and harvest like there's a huge transformation in your <clears throat> your reality in this regards okay there's okay you want another one white swan the power of divine grace is within you this was another thing that came up <laughs> yesterday in that reading if you don't follow me on instagram i would go check out that live tarot reading that i did yesterday because this is very reminiscent of it. Okay, I want this one, but this one I happen to, okay. Divine Badass and Lioness. Ooh-wee, this has got Leo vibes. Okay, oh my gosh, this heart chakra is really starting to irk me. It's on my masculine side. Okay, Divine Badass right here, and then we have Lionhearted with Lioness. Okay let's read this this is the uh love your inner goddess by alana fairchild there's that let me go up to divine badass okay you may feel under pressure to conform maybe to someone else's opinion opinions or even your own previous plans or ideas don't give your power away um to make choices don't give your power to make choices away to another whether this is the choice of what to believe or how to behave don't give your power away to the past if you're allowing the past to haunt you um it will take you away from what you know is true now even if it seems to be more difficult in the short term trust that living what you know is true and right for you is the only way you can gain the happiness and fulfillment that you want and deserve so yeah again it's boundaries and marching to your own beat doing what you want and what you know in your true your heart to be desired and not allowing the past to hold you back or allowing that's just katniss coming in from fighting something outside i'm sure or hunting um 
but give your power away to decisions you made in the past or afraid the things that happened in the past are going to play out again. It's not. This is like a massive time of restructure and change. Um, yeah, and following your own, following your own unique path and not letting other people tell you what's up. Okay, your ability to, this is Lionhearted, or Lioness says Lionhearted. Your ability to love yourself and be empowered is maturing. You are learning that the real beauty and value of you comes from within. You are learning to rise above emotional game playing with honesty. Again, that's that Queen of Swords. You can enjoy your attractiveness as a person without allowing it to control your life or your sense of self-worth. If others try to control you through their opinions about your appearance or in any other way, you will be strong enough to recognize it's their issue and nothing to do with you. Others will be attracted to your true inner beauty, appreciating your loveliness and enjoying how it helps them feel good about who they are too. So yeah, this is definitely somebody, it sounds like somebody has been in your ear trying to discourage you from your dreams and your path and you've been giving your power away and now you're going to stand in your power and no longer be in this victim mentality and establish better boundaries. All right, I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, please leave me a comment down below. And um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can access that link down below. What else? And if you could give me a subscribe, I would love it. Thank you guys, have a very beautiful day. Hi, pile number two, welcome. You have chosen the Ocean Jasper. And I'm gonna put that right here. There's your overall energy. My name is Amanda, and welcome to Raven's Wing Tarot. And I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> because wigs are fun, and I've decided to start wearing wigs. My friend had a wig party, and it was so fun, and I wore them out in public, and I decided I'm gonna start ordering wigs. So. Help yourself. It brings out the inner child in everyone, whether they're just watching you wear a wig or you're wearing one yourself. I got mine from Sheen and they're only like 10 to $13 and they're actually pretty decent quality, right? Okay, so there's that. What is the full moon bringing towards you? What's it, how, how is it benefiting you? So the Muse Tarot has been so active. I think it's funny how certain tarot decks like my guides will be like on a certain tarot deck for a while and then some they'll just, I won't touch for a month or two or for a while and then all of a sudden, I don't know, I feel like those are supposed to be here. Then all of a sudden I'll get all these, uh, they'll switch up and then they'll only wanna get stuck on one, one deck for a while. I'm gonna put these here. Okay, we're gonna start here. The full moon. What's the full moon? I don't know why I've never split them like this, but that's the way that it felt like it needed to be. <coughs> Excuse me, let me, get, let me get a drink here. <sighs> okay, overall energy. <gasps> the king of swords. Seriously, the swords energy has been heavy. So yeah, there's a bit, there's actually a full moon right back there. And then you see they're dancing. These two ladies are dancing and they're flying a kite but they're mirroring themselves and there's this little path down here and then it's the air symbol. Is that the air? No, that's a fire symbol. That is the fire symbol, that is not air. Whoa, I've never noticed that before. Holy crap. Air and fire, guys, air and fire. Uh, you might be drawn to pile number one. Ugh, I wish I could tuck this behind my ear. Maybe I can. Hey, I did it. Um, Anyway, if you were drawn to pile number one, it was full of wands, energy, and swords. So anyway, yeah, transmutative power. And actually, I've never noticed this on this card either. There's plasma. And the crazy thing is when I was talking about the moon, I almost brought up that, you know, a lot of people are be uh, believe that it's, it's actually made of plasma, not a rock. Because a lot of people don't believe people actually went to the moon. But that plasma thing came up. And now I'm seeing the plasma here and the fire. That's trippy. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. What? So happy for you guys. The Ace of Pentacles. <gasps> the King of Cups. And the Five of Wands. Oh, wow. <clears throat> this is so awesome. I'm really digging it. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, like, successful. Even she's, like, sensual as well. Successful businesswoman. 
um, stands in her authority and her power. She's also very nurturing and very passionate and a very grounded person. But I always see the pinnacles, the queen of pinnacles is money, 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 money. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I might actually have to listen to that song because that bass line is <laughs> fucking dope. So anyway, <clears throat> um, that's what I always think of, especially with this Ace of Materials. Man, a new beginning. A new, it's like there's the cycle here. She's got this little flute. And it's like, she, or is that a flute or a stick? I want to call it's a stick, but I feel like it's a flute. It's like you're calling it into you through your frequency. That's so crazy. Yeah, man, if you were drawn to number one, go to two. Oh, sorry, if you were drawn to pile number two, if you were drawn to pile number one as well, go check that one out. <clears throat> and there's also, this looks like it's the water sign. I've never noticed that in any of these decks before, in this deck. I've had this deck. This was my first tarot deck I ever bought like three years ago. I don't remember when. A long time ago. Yeah, I think it was during the COVID era. The first year. First year COVID. Okay. But anyway, there's this, there's this, the, um, it looks like it's the water symbol down here. That's wild. And then you have the King of Cups. Again, with the balancing and these two women, they're drinking um, this water and they're standing back to back and it's flowing out of them. I feel like the, this is the masculine energy. That's weird. Okay, on the last reading, my right side on my heart chakra was bothering me. Now it's the left side. Right side is masculine, left side's feminine. And that one, that, that's just so weird. There was a lot of feminine energy in that reading, and now we've got the kings here. Weird, but we, this is so strange. When I do these readings, I whatever I'm feeling and the energy that I'm tapping into isn't my own, it's of the collective. Or who I'm reading for. <clears throat> I should say that, not collective. Who I'm reading for. But yeah, it's like... Emotional abundance, balance, even the five of wands here, it's the reflection and they're happy. Do you see this? They're, they're reflecting on all these things. And there's these different perspectives and moves and stuff. There's like, it's a pool of water here, um, a mirror, a mirror. And right here, I love this though. If you guys can't really see it because the lines are really, really fine and it's hard to see anyway. But there's a mirror on her crotch and she's like, yeah. <laughs> and there's these little light rays coming um emanating from around it so i feel like this is the the sexual creative energy which i picked up on in the queen of pinnacles um but it's like it's like your sexual creative energy is going to reflect around you um yeah and oh actually i just noticed this too this is so crazy that's why i love reading tarot because i see i can read a card different every time i pull it so I've never noticed with this mirror in the middle <clears throat> that it's cut there. It's like on this line coming down from the divine. I've never noticed that. So yeah, definitely self-reflection. There's clouds in this one, in this mirror, this one, the, okay. So this is the only one. Nobody's looking at the mirrors. That's what it is. I never noticed that either. Nobody's looking at the mirrors. Except for this one here. She's looking the, with the, the mirror crotch. She's actually looking at it. Now, this person here is looking down at the water that they're standing in. <clears throat> this is crazy. Let me tune in here for a sec. Well, hold on. I'm going to read these oracles. Feel and allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is divine quality. Okay, that's the water. Because you've done this reflection, stood in your power, learn and, and harnessing, or, or be, you are standing in your power, balancing your emotions with this full moon, reflecting, but you're using, oh, if you were, this is, a, this is for anybody who chose a pile a couple weeks back about, you got a lot of fire energy with the um, sacred sexuality and all of that. I feel like that's what this is, is that you, except for some of those, not everybody, for some, those that saw that reading and you picked that pile, this is the, that's all been playing out and the transformation now, it's like you're in this balanced energy, but you are feeling more peaceful, like you, you have maybe have mastered these shadows in your head, you've mastered the shadows of the mind, 
stood in your power and because of that the, the external is going to reflect and you're going to feel more peaceful with the water because water means i mean it is very peaceful if you are if you are near water or look at water you don't even have to be in it for 20 minutes a day it will significantly lower your stress and your blood pressure so many other benefits you'll immediately be calmed down it's just the nature of water so yeah there's this reflective transformation um the mind and the emotions are balanced standing in your power using this sa sacred sexuality your sexual creative energy um to manifest and create and you're because of that you're moving into a more peaceful time period wonder and connection it's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder and when i'm a good audience to my life my life becomes better and better theater when something delightful happens, I can shout encore and be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm glad I got a ticket to the show. Okay, so if anybody has ever done a plant medicine journey and you've been blissed out and all that stuff, and if you've made it to like the echelons, the upper echelons of where you're connected with source consciousness fully and you're fully in your higher self and you're you're in connection with all the divine there's no mystery you know everything because you're you're there in that space it gets really really boring and anytime i do those plant medicine journeys i don't think i will ever do it again if i do it'll be a long time because i get bored i'm like yeah i just want to be a human again because being a human if everything was perfect all the time we would go out of our minds it would be we would be so bored because there's like we know everything's perfect all the time and so the joy of being a human is not only getting to enjoy the nature and things that don't exist in higher dimensional realities we get to enjoy that here but we get to have we like it sucks with the dark stuff okay i get it it sucks when you're in those deep shadow purges dark night of the soul all of those things but looking back on all this stuff makes for a good story right and you're like wow i overcame that and and a lot of times like once we're through it we often forget about some of the shit that we've been through so yeah and they're wearing 3d glasses which i think is funny because this is the third dimension right so it's like enjoying this this material world third dimensional reality because like this is the only reality in which we can experience linear time and just all of the things that go along with being a human. So yeah, I feel like how does this tie into your reading is just like, uh, we, even with the crap stuff that has happened, just look back on it and be like, wow, I can't believe I went through that. Like even me, I went through some very, very painful, difficult things over the last few months. And I'm just now like moved through that healing and I'm feeling really good where I'm at and i'm looking back on it and i was like yeah i was an idiot like i didn't think i didn't know how i was going to get through it i honestly did and i was like i don't know how i'm ever going to recover from this like joe uh safari joe or whatever the hell his name is he, by the way i live in oklahoma and he's from here i didn't even know he existed until he got arrested that tells you how famous he was but it's like i'm never going to financially recover from this so i was like i don't know how i'm ever going to emotionally recover from this <laughs> But I have, and I did, and I can look back on it and be like, wow, wow. And I can laugh at myself, you know? And I feel like that's where you're moving into is like whatever this difficult thing that you've mastered and these shadows you've mastered, you're moving into like this more peaceful, reflective space, like seeing your worth and seeing your value within yourself with this five of wands. Okay, <clears throat> connection. I'm connected to the multitudes and I can access their support anytime. Even if a stranger offers me a sense of comfort when they smile, um, smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather. Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up and pay attention. Note to self, work on witty banter about weather related stuff. Um, so yeah, it's like, I think you're going to be more open to connecting to other people. And there's even like, so with these, there's penguins here and they're all collectively communicating in one little bubble here. And it looks like there's a snowflake there. Interesting. But either way, it's like, I feel like this has to do with collective consciousness 
and maybe you'll tap into that more and uh, being able to hear and tune into what the collective is feeling gaining that discer discernment but i do feel like it's more about you're going to be connecting deeper with your soul tribe and maybe even uh some new friends coming in or just finding just finding a way like even when people are having a bad day i think almost everybody just wants to feel seen and heard and connect with humanity and so if you can do that just by smiling at someone or i try not to ask people how they're how they're you know how's your day <laughs> because that's a loaded question i'm one of those people i don't want you to ask me how my day is just as a pleasantry like get bent i don't care about a small talk like that i try to find a genuine way to connect with somebody i find something about them that i genuinely appreciate or admire and that's what i express so I'm one of those people, if you ask me how my day is, I'm going to tell you the truth. And a lot of people are like, oh, you asshole, like nobody wants to hear your shit. Then don't, don't fake placate me and just do fake shit. I can't fucking stand that. <laughs> but anyway, so find a way to connect with people in a genuine sense. And I feel like this is going to be very fulfilling to, for you. Um, and again, the, like the deeper that is, is like coming in tune more with the collective consciousness the blue jay the time is right to access and master your abilities do so with humility and control and what did i just say about the collective consciousness and all of that wow okay so i really do feel like this is you being able to tune into your emotions or not emotions into your gifts and your skills and it's a time for you to master it now that you're out of this shadow stuff the shadow stuff was very distracting for you and now it's not now you can you because your emotions are being balanced out um, yeah, so you've got some gifts coming online and maybe even with being able to see beyond the third dimension and being able to tap into these higher planes of realities and existence. Okay, I'm going to cut. Okay, this is one. <gasps> Ace of Wands, downloads, transformation, new beginnings. There's a succulent and there's a cactus there. It's like, um, oh man, I just lost it where you know thriving in thriving in conditions that don't seem like you would be able to thrive because cactus grow in deserts right but it, more so it's about the the downloading like seeing things more clearly and that just affirms what i just told you about your gifts all right ah and the knight of pentacles right behind it love it i love it that's fast movement in the external abundance all these awesome things moving all right guys thank you so much i Hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can access the link in the description box for that. And if you have yet to subscribe, I would appreciate if you would do so. That helps me out in the channel quite a bit. So thank you guys so, so very much. And I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Raven's Wing Tarot. My name's Amanda. And you have chosen the Wave Light. Wave light is actually mined in Arkansas. It's really, really cool. You can't really see, but there's like these little circle thingies. Yes, I'm wearing a wig. Just, just go ahead and address that. I'm into wigs now. My friend had a wig party. It was super fun. And I decided to order some wigs because it just is really playful. And um, my wigs came in today. So I wanted to wear one. Who would have known I could pull off blonde? I don't know how it looks on this camera, but in person, it actually looks really good. It's kind of trippy how natural it looks on me. I was blown away because I've always had dark hair. And before it started going gray and I started putting purple on my gray with a, a color shampoo, my hair was like jet black. Like my hair was so black, so, so black to the point people would call me blueberry head. <laughs> so it's really weird for me to play around with these lighter colors. But Sheen uh 10 and 13 dollars for these babies and they're pretty good quality i was actually impressed okay oh yeah sorry this is the new moon you knew that already not new moon the full moon the full moon is coming for you baby so we're seeing what the full moon is bringing to you what's the full moon doing for you and I love how I said for you, not to you. Okay, these two. I'm gonna put y'all here. Oops, one of my wig hairs come off. Okay. 
All right, let me get a drink here first. To wet my whistle. All right, overall energy. Boom, the 10 of cups. Are you kidding me? The 10 of cups. Um, oh my gosh, my right ear is ringing. I almost didn't notice it because it was kind of going deaf and it happened so much. I like don't even pay attention anymore. But yeah, the 10 of cups. Oh my gosh, this is emotional fulfillment happiness, joy, bliss, all of the things. Wow, I'm so excited for you guys. All these piles have been really awesome. <gasps> and then you have the seven of pentacles and then the, what is this? The six of swords. Wow, this is a pretty card. I don't, I think I've only pulled this one once but I'm already seeing the connection between these two. Okay, what? You can't make this up guys. What the frack? That's the 10 of wands okay and then you have the seven of wands okay i gotta show you guys something before i even get into reading it do you see the chakras and all the different colors coming up the chakras this is signifies the kundalini next card do you see the rainbow coming up through her right here what or coming it's coming down and being drawn down now look at this one chakras once again what this is insanity. I love it. Okay, so what I'm gonna, what I see immediately is you're getting a kundalini, another kundalini expansion, um, a whole total chakra overhaul, basically. Like this is magic. This is pure freaking magic. I, I've never pulled this ten of wands before. I, this deck is fairly new to me. I've had it, not like maybe two months, maybe not even quite. <clears throat> Wow, and there's even the snake here, and holy crow, there's this little power symbol thingy here in the center of the solar plexus, the little swirly thing. If you were drawn to pile number one, go check that one out, because that symbol showed up in a different card in that reading. My ear just did the ringy thing again. Wow, right side's masculine side, that's action. So yeah, there's, oh, what the crap? Look at this, there's fire wings. Fire wings on both of these. What? And that's a pinnacles and that's a wands. That's air. Whoa, this is so powerful. I wanna read about these, cause like I said, this is a newer deck. I do know this one, <clears throat> cause I pulled it. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Get out in nature, get grounded, take time out to meditate so that you can. So here's the thing. We receive, we store our, uh, our soul blueprints into Gaia's crystal core. Um, and that's why it's so important to ground because when we're ready, we upload through our uh, earth star chakra into our vessels to activate and unlock our next layer of our soul blueprint. And that's what I get. So taking time in nature to transmute, transform, expand, empower all these things. Wow, I love it. Okay, so here <clears throat> with the uh, six of... Uh, six of swords there this is a balance of light and dark if you see she's split black and white black dress black wings white dress white wings and then she's holding her sword here which also has the wings it's actually a staff and it reminds me of again kind of like that medical kundalini type thing hold on apollo sun that's a thing apollo sun i can't think of what his name is he actually was turned into ophi ophicucius ophicucius i can't say that word ophi ophicucius the uh, 13th zodiac sign in true sidereal and i believe he represented like the medical staff and resurrecting people from the dead yeah that's crazy and that's what i'm just seeing these wings here in this little staff that's what's reminding me of but even here the wings are it's a white wing on the black side and a black wing on the white side. So it's that perfect, it's like, that's the, it's like the yin yang. The yin and the yang is you've got the blending of the light and the dark and there's a little bit of the light and the dark and a little bit of the dark and the light with the eyes, right? And that's what I see here. It's this balancing and there's even a Celtic knot here. So if Celtic is a thing for you, Celtic salt just came into my head, that's a thing. Um, look into it or that's a confirmation for you if you're into it. She's even got her hand over her heart. Heart activation, total upgrade. Wow, light codes here as well, light code activation. And again, this is, we got the sun and the third eye and there's a big moon back here and the sun here. And also there was a lot of sun and fire energy 
in the in pile number two. So if you were drawn to either one of those, I encourage you to go check it out. Um, but if you weren't, don't worry about it. He's holding a mallet and it looks kind of like a chisel here. I'm going to have to look this one up. Like I said, I've never pulled this one yet. And he's wearing like, okay, so I don't know what they're called, but when you graduate, it's graduation season here. Holy crap. Okay, you're graduating. This is a graduation. You know the little tassel thingy, the little thingies that they wear down here <clears throat> for like <clears throat> valedictorian or honor society, things like that? That's what this looks like coming down here and these have the light codes written on them and it feels like this is a graduation. You're graduating. <laughs> Applaud yourself right now. Seriously. You deserve it. And then again here <clears throat> with the uh, seven of wands, there's another eye up here and then she's here with a bowl and a lotus flower in the bowl. This could even talk about divination. And then she's got the two cats here as well. <clears throat> and again, well, I don't, I'm getting Egypt off, off of here, like looking up the, the cat symbolism for Egypt. And cats often, um, their frequency, their energetic field naturally transmutes uh, evil, negative energies, and they're very protective. So maybe, ooh, and she's got a butterfly here on her third eye. Yes, a transformation and a graduation. Whoo, I'm so pumped for y'all. All these piles have been awesome, and you know, we all deserve it. <laughs> We really do. Okay, we're gonna go to, we're in the air. There's four, six. Solutions, comparisons, compromise, open-mindedness, mindfulness, illumination, epiphany, personal power. I'm going with illumination, epiphany, and personal power. Um, let's see here. Don't let rigidity Hamper, possible success, a moment of epiphany, step into your personal power, do not discredit what uh, others offer. So you may have an offer come in and it, this is just a small shadow aspect. I feel like this is very overall positive energy. Um, <clears throat> but some people think that they they know everything. Like here's the thing, you got it with all this empowerment, your ego can really get inflated, <laughs> you know? Um, Cause that's that fire energy. It's like that, that Leo energy of like, Oh yeah, look at my shit. And I love Leos. Leos are some of my favorite signs. I really get along with them a lot, but I also have a lot of air and fire in my chart. So there's that. But yeah, don't teeter on feeling yourself too much and getting too in your ego. But yeah, um, people may, you might think, well, I already know or whatever. Somebody might want to offer a point of view to you. Hear them out, hear them out. There's a reason why they felt called to say that to you. Okay. So I want to read about the Ten of Wands here. That usually means the end of a burden. But I want to see what it says in this deck. I've never pulled it. Okay. Doing. Self-mastery. Mastery. Evolution. Enlightenment. Light work. Light being. Discipline. What does that say? Graduation. This is a, you graduated to the next motherfucking level. I'm going to try to stop cussing as much, but I have a hard time with it. <laughs> Just to be honest. I think it adds a certain pizzazz to shit. See, look, I couldn't even help myself. <clears throat> Mastery of both self and craft. <clears throat> craft was even actually mentioned in the last pile, pile number two. Let's see here. Do not be a slave to outside forces. Order, structure, and simplicity. Be disciplined and dedicated. Stop. Okay, no, 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 no. You can do anything you set your mind to and act upon. So weed. Okay, what's it say? The ten of fire symbolizes mastery. Yes. Wow. Definitely. And this is like carving your own path, like and doing the work, because he's got these tools here of like the chisel and that mallet. So I do feel like this is like you, you learning how to hone in on your craft. Maybe you um, want to start working with light language, and light language can come through um, through movement. It can come through art. It can come through songs or spoken word. It's very different and unique for each person. Maybe that's something, or maybe like you want to start teaching others how to tap into this divine quality within self. I, by the way, I do offer a light language class to teach you how to tap into this on your own. It's very healing. So yeah, that's awesome. And then here with the seven of 
wands. Again, I was getting divination off of both of these. I don't know why I put this up. I want to look at this one. There we go. Divination. What the frack? I love it. I, I impress myself sometimes, guys. I just have to say. Divination, signs, heeding intuition, looking within, seeking answers, discovery, awareness, and trust. Yeah, personal interpretation is crucial. Only you know the answer. Look beyond the surface, observe, and be aware. Heed your intuition, a feeling of recognition, inexplic inexplicable coincidences, moments that repeat. So this is about synchronicities and learn tuning into your own intuition. And like the other card was talking about like other people, like use your intuition and... Um, like other, it was said, heed other people's whatever. Don't discredit other people when they want to try to offer something to you. Oh, and she also has a snake all around her her arm here, which again is that Kundalini. Yeah, maybe you're gonna be your your powers of manifestation and divination are going to just get a total upgrade. Wow, this is so awesome. You're probably it, you're either a uh, I mean you're a light worker and you may own your may uh, have your own personal spiritually based business or you've been considering it this is your sign you're on the right path and yes you should do it but don't do like i did and quit your really cush financially secure job and just go feet first into all this it's kind of a struggle i would like do it part-time for a while until it's got the foundation and then do it don't do don't be like me like that <laughs> okay you have the hermit and the king of pentacles yes <clears throat> going within self and tapping the king of pentacles again it's like strong masculine energy taking the that act the aligned action of creating success business coming out of hibernation right because he's got a, um, a bear with him but you've been that's what that hermit is it's time for you to come out if you're like me i have just now just i have just now in the last like month have been putting myself out there and going out and being more social and doing these things i was a hermit for four years, guys. I didn't really do anything. I didn't do stuff. I quit going and doing stuff. But um, I'm now like, no, I'm in the fun part of my life. And I feel like that's it. You're coming out of the hermit mode. It's time for you to come out of hibern hibernation. And maybe you had a spiritually based business at one time and you stopped. And it's spirit's way of saying, that's your purpose. And you need. it's time for you to get yourself out there and quit hiding. Quit hiding. So yeah, success, also success in your spiritual business. That's what, oh, wow. That's just what, uh, if you've been waiting for something that, if you've been waiting for something to shift in your business, it doesn't even have to be spiritually based, but I, this is, I mean, it is. It doesn't have to be, but for most of the people watching this, that's what it's about. Um, if you've been waiting for it to take off, it's gonna. Four Swords and the Empress. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, Four Swords. I call this a sleeping beauty card because it's like, take a break. If you need to rest, you need to take a break. Maybe, oh, here's the other thing. After all this deep activation and stuff, you may need to go into hermit mode for an integration period. <clears throat> but um, if you need to, take a break and do that. And it and this also could signify that there could be delays in the this. Like you're thinking, oh, wow, it's going to happen as soon as the full moon's over. It, be patient because it is happening, but things... Things are, are going to move in. They're going to move in their own divine time. So don't lose your faith on that. And the Empress, she's got an owl here, right? Owl eats fear. She's standing in her power. She actually looks like she's a warrior standing here with her staff. She's got that war paint on her face. I want to look at this one because, like I said, each tarot deck is unique in its own way. Like, they all have the same type of thing. Like, the Empress typically is birthing the cosmos through herself. <clears throat> but this one, she's more of like a warrior. So I want to look here. Um, creativity, harmony, serenity, stability. Um, fours, by the way, speak of stability because there's four legs on a chair. Arts, poetry, maternal advice in love and enriching new relationship. I mean, it could be. It could be with all this, you know, crazy energy. You could be attracting somebody, but I don't really get that. Um, let's see here. What's it say about her scepter? The scepter she holds is a sign of her inner power. Yep, okay, yep, there you go. That was it, tying it together. The personal power, standing into your personal power um, to create. And like I was I was getting that she looked powerful like a warrior. Why didn't I draw the conclusion with that? Yeah, standing in your personal power for sure. And you may have to take a little bit of a break. 
like I said, to integrate some of these activations and expansions, because all this stuff here is hermit, hibernation bear, take a break. So you may need to, or you're coming out of it. When you do come out of it, you may have to go into a little bit of a rest period after all of this, but it may also, it's also time for you to put yourself out there in a different way. I'm talking the, the, the rest or the break for integrating this, but the bigger picture is it's time for you to put yourself out there, right? Okay, and create. We have the otter and the whale. Water, this is the only water in your whole reading. So the whale and the otter, by the way, I'm from Kansas and um, the otter is our state mammal. No, is it? No, yeah, state mammal. You would, or buffalo, what is it? The otter is our state, he is a mammal. Whatever, I don't know what the deal is with that, but we have buffalo, no, buffalo is Oklahoma. That's what it is, I got the two mixed up. Where are we at? I don't know. Otter. Unobstructed joy. Wow, playfulness and contentment. Yay! Oh my gosh. Th that's probably why I was guided to wear this wig today is to, for that playfulness, you know? Uh, yeah, because I mean, really it is. It's like inner child play. When in balance, full of love needs nothing. When out of balance, gloomy sighs make silly excuses to bring into balance, dance party or celebration. Heck yeah, I dance by myself all the time while Berkeley watches and judges me. Like seriously, he's like, bitch sit down. I'm like, quit judging me. I'm like, stop judging me. I'm having a good time here. Perhaps the most joyful creature within the animal spirit deck, the otter represents absolute bliss. Otter energy is the playfulness of a child available to us at any age. They have a giddiness and reverence for life itself without the presence of doubt, worry, or skepticism. Imagine yourself with a little more otter energy. What would life look like? What would it take to bring you there? The otter card brings these questions and wants to transport us to that precious place as soon as possible. The celebration awaits. Yay! And look... I feel like the Ten of Cups is your otter energy. It is. It's your otter energy. Okay. The shark, the swan, the dolphin, the whale. Hey, did you know a whale's dick is called a dork? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> I don't know. I think a lot of people know that, but some people don't. Okay. Desire to delve deeper, profound peace, ancient wisdom. Ah, I love how this just encompasses the whole reading here. When in balance, calm, steady, deeply compassionate. When out of balance, heavy, slips into old story. To bring into balance, regular self-care. And that's this here. That's this, what I get here is take time out for yourself, get grounded in nature, get connected. Maybe go sit by some water or get into some water. The whale represents profound emotional health and stability. Whale personalities, there you go, with the stability of the Four of Swords. Fours, I said, often talk about stability. Okay. Whale personalities are not afraid of emotional expression or traversing difficult terrain as they have overcome many challenges in their lives. These experiences have enriched them, given them stability, strength, and a depth that is rare. Whale energy is usually linked to the feminine forces of compassion and communication. We can depend on whale personalities when all else seems lost and trust them to be a beacon in our darkest hour. Yep. <clears throat> this just solidifies the fact that you're supposed to be serving um, the collective with your innate skills, abilities, and talents. And you, this is your sign. It's time to do it. It's time, it's time for you to do it. Um, and then also whales, what, use sonar? which is high frequency and also they ha I believe they have telepathy as well. I know dolphins do and that's been proven. So I hope this reading resonated for you. I'm so excited for you. Are you kidding me? Like this is a bomb reading and you deserve it. I know you deserve it because you have been through, you don't get to this, you don't get here, you don't get to this by um, just sitting on your ass and not having to do a lot of hard work, seriously. Um, so anyway, congratulations to you. And if, if this did resonate, let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to book your own private reading, you can see how to do that in my description box and the link down below. And if you could give me a subscribe if you haven't yet, I am so grateful and appreciative of each and every one of you that engage on my channel. All right. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Bye.